Question 36. The following formula can be used to calculate an estimate for blood alcohol content, BAC, for males. BAC male equals 10N minus 7.5H over 6.8M. N is the number of standard drinks consumed. M is the person's weight in kilograms. H is the number of hours of drinking. Cameron weighs 75 kilograms. His BAC was zero when he began drinking alcohol. At 9 p.m., after consuming three standard drinks, his BAC was 0.02. Using the formula, estimate at what time Cameron began drinking alcohol to the nearest minute. The strategy is to rearrange this formula to make H the subject. Since H represents the number of hours that Cameron has been drinking, once we work out the value of H, we can subtract that from 9pm to get the approximate time that Cameron began drinking alcohol. Now, we know some values already. We know that Cameron's BAC is 0.02 at 9pm. We know how many standard drinks he consumed, which is 3. We also know his weight, which is 75 kilograms. So, substituting 0.02 for BAC, 3 for N and 75 for M, we can rewrite the formula using the division symbol here. And I've used this format as I find it a little bit easier to write it in this form given the lines that are provided. Note though that to write an equation that's originally in fraction form using the division symbol that you must use brackets around the numerator and the denominator, or else you'll get an incorrect answer. So 0 0.02 is equal to 10 times 3 minus 7.5 times h in brackets, divided by 6.8 times 75 in brackets. So I've evaluated 10 times 3 here and 6.8 times 75 here. So the equation can be written in a more simplified form, 0 0.02 equals 30 minus 7.5 times h in brackets divided by 510. Now we can start the process of reversing or rearranging this formula to make h the subject. So multiplying both sides of the equation by 510, since multiplication is the opposite of division, we get 10.2 is equal to 30 minus 7.5 times h. Now, since negatives can be problematic, and also we want h ideally to be on the left-hand side of the equation, what I've done here is I've added 7.5 times h to both sides of the equation, which effectively cancels this negative 7.5 times h here, moves it over to the other side and it becomes a positive, which is more ideal. So the equation is 7.5 times h plus 10.2 is equal to 30. Subtracting 10.2 from both sides of the equation, we get 7.5 times h is equal to 19.8. And finally, dividing both sides of the equation by 7.5, we get h is equal to 19.8 divided by 7.5, which equals 2.64 hours. And using the degrees, minutes, seconds button on the calculator, which is this button here, or wherever you find that function on the model of calculator that you're using, 2.64 hours is equivalent to 2 hours, 38 minutes, and 24 seconds. Now, whichever method you'd like to use at this point to subtract 2 hours, 38 minutes, 24 seconds from 9 p.m. to find the start time when Cameron began drinking alcohol, I've converted 9 p.m. to 24 hour time, so 9 p.m. is 2100 hours. And using the degrees, minutes, seconds button on the calculator, 2100 hours minus 2 hours, 38 minutes, 24 seconds is equal to 1821, 36. So 18 hours, 21 minutes, 36 seconds. So that's in the evening or in 12 hour time, that's 6.21 p.m. and 36 seconds. So rounding this time 
correct to the nearest minute. The 21 gets rounded up to a 22. So Cameron started drinking at 6.22 p.m.